Welcome to the Second Service Podcast. I'm your host, Joey Seymour, along with Matt Visnovsky. How you doing, Matt? Good, Joey. How you doing? Good. Hey, uh, who's our who's our very first guest? Yeah, so today we're going to be speaking with uh, Ricardo Villarreal, who's a uh, fellow classmate of ours in the Master of Public Policy degree that we're currently in. And he recently ran for office in... Uh, Texas, the 21st Congressional District, as a Democrat, and he was, you know, as, as a relative unknown, was able to uh, force a runoff with the uh, other Democratic candidate, and um, he's here today to talk to us about his experience in that campaign as a newcomer and kind of what he learned, and uh, yeah, just excited to to get into it. Yeah, it's gonna be a great conversation. We hope you uh, enjoy it. Let's uh, let's begin our chat with with uh, Ricardo. Well, Ricardo, we want to thank you so much. You are our first guest on the Second Service podcast. This is exciting for us to have uh, not only this be our capstone uh, project for USF, but also to have our classmates joining us. And I wanted to start with my very first question um, being: Can you tell us a little bit about that moment when either you were a teenager or maybe in college, when was the moment that you decided I'm going to sign up and I'm going to be in the service? Well, I think it, it starts, like you said, back when I was a teenager, I don't think it was a direct moment or, or situation. One of the things that happened in my high school was that I was part of the uh, R, uh, Air Force Junior ROTC. So that was the indoctrination kind of into, into the military service. So after high school, I went a different route, but it was still something that was in the back of my head. Most of my friends uh, went into the either the Marines, the Army, or the Air Force, and I was the only one that was uh, went my separate way in terms of uh, not being a civilian and not going into into service. But it it, it kind of kept it, it was in the back of my head for for quite a number of years. So after I, I finished my my master's degree, my MBA, it, it kind of like popped up again in terms of hey, there's 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 obligation to serve. You got to serve your country. You got to. Uh, give back to to the community and, and to your nation. So that's that's how it came into uh, me getting getting into the Army Reserve. I'm super interested in in uh, your experience on the campaign trail because uh, I know we've we've been classmates for you know quite a f- you know few classes here, and I haven't had the chance to sit down with you and discuss your experience. Um, but uh, expectations wise, going into it, were you was the experience about what you expected? Was it completely different? Uh, was it harder, easier, um, that sort of thing? It's all of those things combined, <laughs> and, and, and it's not and not a straight answer just like that. Just because one one of the things that you wanting to run for office is you got to analyze the data, look at at the situation, analyze what the numbers have said in the past, and 